Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So, cancer, this reading will be for you if you have any cancer placements or if you are dealing with a cancer. Please take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. All right, guys. So, um, I feel the need to use some different cards for you guys today. I'm going to look for the, all the water signs. So, I'm going to be using a um, combination of cards, actually. Hidden truth. I want to see what comes out. I feel like some of you guys want to know something specifically. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to see what your angel numbers message is for today. So it is um, number 53, Cancer. Self-control. React accordingly. The power lies in you to gain control over your responses in a present situation. Your angels call on you to feel solid in your ability to react appropriately to the challenges in front of you. Several times today, repeat this mantra I am in control of how I respond. Ooh, let me uh, let me tell you guys that is, honestly it's so powerful. Um, something that I really learned to understand early on in my spiritual journey. Ooh, is a game changer. Some of you guys know, and it's like ooh, especially as a water, especially as a water sign. If you don't know, I'm a Pisces. I got so much water in my chart, and choosing to choosing understanding that we are in charge of i mean i understand there's different some people may be exempt from that through whatever reason okay um but choosing to react in a certain way that doesn't affect us or leave leave us feeling bad it's like oh okay okay and it's just it's very freeing very liberating All right so that's your angel numbers message for today <clears throat> I want to see. I'm going to use the uh, the kipper. No, the um, hidden truth. Oh, cancer! Someone's afraid to contact you. It says I'm afraid to contact you. Okay, so there could be an issue with ah. Okay, so you see that whole um, you being in control of how you're acting. Some of you guys have been practicing that. Okay, and somebody could have been could have been acted out and treated you a certain way, and you were like cool and calm, and collected. And they were like, oh, okay. You know, they kind of look at themselves now because you gave them no reason. Um, they couldn't blame it on you. Let's put it like that. So there's someone that's 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 thinking, oh, how is uh, cancer going to respond to me contacting them? All right, tell me more, please. Oh, cancer. I hid who I really am from you. So you've you figured somebody out. You've called you've called out someone's BS. Okay. The maths wasn't adding up. Their words wasn't matching the actions. Vice versa. Yeah. I look everywhere for you. Ooh. So this person is checking their messages. They're checking their blocked messages. Okay. They're seeing if you viewed if you if you're a cancer that has social media and you posting stories or whatever they're checking that if you live in the same area as this person they're like oh is that cancer is that cancer looks that looks like cancer so you're clearly on someone's mind strongly okay just being near you it's intoxicating i i mean i'll be honest with you i feel like this person is trying their best um they they know that they have to tell you something and able to come forward. They have to um let you know something. Maybe you've asked them something and and they kind of um shied away from that question, and you're like, no, don't come around me. If you're gonna like not tell me the truth, don't come around me. They long to be around you. But at the same time, it's like, okay, how do I navigate around this situation now? All right, tell me more, please. I'll get three more cards from this deck and then I'll move on to the tipper. So we have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Told ya. So whoever you're dealing with, so clearly this is for the cancers that are not around the person at this moment, okay? Some of you guys are in no contact with this person. But you're, you're, let me, whether they, you'll know who this is, okay? Whether this person has let you know how um, they feel about you or not, you'll know who it is. You'll know who this person is by the energy that's come out. 
but they're, they're clearly they're clearly wondering about you that that like you're living rent free in this person's mind i'll tell you that so two more cards from this deck and i'll move so i feel you even though we are apart this is some of you guys are in no contact I am getting more of a love, like a romantic, romantic connection. Last card, please. Thank you. So we have, I want to be more than friends. So maybe you guys could have friend zone this person or they weren't show if they asked. I'm not sure if it's a friend or, or an ex and you're trying to, trying to say, hey, let's just be friendly, let's be cordial. Someone wants more than that, right? Some, somebody's kind of like, it's bothering them. It's really, really bothering them. I'm not sure how it's affecting you. Oh, actually, I'll check. I'll, I will look into that a little bit. A little bit later, I'll, I'll look into that. I just want to see, because clearly, this reading had to be about somebody that you're curious about at this time. All right, anyways, let's, let's move on from this. Let's see what the Kipper has to say main male some of you guys are dealing with it um could be an aries or a taurus we have house you could have lived with this person at some point or there was talks of it of you know having something more serious with this person what else is going on courthouse I'm gonna be real now. Some of you guys, there could be um, you could be dealing with legal issues with this person. Some of you guys, it could have turned into something quite toxic. I feel like they I feel like when times are good with you and this person, all that rush of excitement that goes through both of you. But I feel like at some point, whether it's been the recent past or, you know, I feel like. Some of you guys could have really taken out a restraining order on this person or thought about it or really tried to get away because it might have been exciting and happy, but at the same time, and okay, I hid who I really am from you. I look for you everywhere. Now, you could have really blocked this person for a very good reason, okay? imprisonment some of you guys this person not for everybody now okay not for everybody but for some of you guys this person could have been in jail or you you're with them right now maybe that's um you're you were with them while they were in jail or with them and then they went to jail or they they're the, they're the kind of person that gets arrested a lot or gets in trouble okay but for for courthouse and imprisonment to come up right after that, and I've used this card like so many times. This person could be on trial for something also, and we have false person. False person is cut so twice now. This the two cards. I hid who I really am from from you and false person. Now someone's clearly wearing a mask, and there is a bloke there in the back wearing a mask. So. Some of you guys, you feel like this person's a fraud, a scammer. Um, they could have love bombed you into a situation. Some of you guys could have been warned about this person. Some of you cross watchers, this is how you could fall towards a cancer. That's fine. But I'm getting like you could be staying away from this person because you realise that they're not who they said they were. They Some of you, they lied about their name. They lied about where they truly lived or the job that they had or how many children they had or how recent they split up from their uh, um, um, ex-partner or whether it be a you know boyfriend, girlfriend or, or wife, husband, okay? Certain, that's what I was saying to you before. Certain things weren't adding up. So you come to the realisation of, hmm, I can't trust this person and they you know I feel like they could have been very nice to you to start with charming and things were like very fun but then as time went on 
you're kind of side eyeing them and you're thinking you're not you're not who you perceive yourself to be something's not adding up i'm getting something about somebody receiving um um them having private calls or they could have said oh hold on i got a phone call i need to like excuse myself and you know and you're like what's that about especially if they're into like something dodgy do you know what i mean if they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing however that may resonate But you're still heavy on that mind and you're still heavy on this person's mind cancer and i feel like for some of you guys part of you is like okay some of you i feel like oh my god i just want this person to forget about me there will be some of you that think that will think oh it's actually nice that they do think of me you know because of that connection that you had and built but at the same time it's like this person could some of you guys have got oh cancer some of you guys you have leo in your chart you're on the cusp if you are or your person's a leo and they've been dealing with this i look at leo's reading from yesterday look at the title i'm going to say no more you check it out if this is resonating if you know what i'm saying is true and this is your story look at leo's reading that I did yesterday i ain't gonna say nothing just go and check it out yeah because that, that's no coincidence this is no i don't believe in that and i and I feel like many of you guys don't believe in that we don't know we we know those those things synchronicities okay as i'm doing this i'm thinking i'm thinking about the lyric and i'm thinking oh okay so we have change in rev change in reverse this person refuses to change This person does this over and over again. Do you know what? I'll, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what I'm getting. Let's just let's just be. Listen, I like to be direct and real here because I ain't got time to be like go around in circles with any of my readings or with people. Now, let me tell you something. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who, say, for example, they um they always let me put it like this: Are you dealing with somebody who always always had some big dramatic story? Oh, my workplace, they were causing me so much problems. I had to do this, I had to do that, or I had to end up taking them to court, or or my ex, my ex-husband, my ex-wife is crazy. They they they're this or that. And then you realize, then you saw then throughout time, you saw some of their behaviors and you realize actually you're telling on yourself. This is you. You are the reason why you got into all this crap. You are the reason. But they had you believing that it was everyone else's fault. So some of you have realised that you're dealing with a compulsive liar. Compulsive liar and someone who cannot take accountability. They probably believe in their own lies. Allergic to the truth, however you want to put it. It benefits them for you to be interested in them. They they so want you to believe what they're telling you, Cancer. They really want... And if you know what I'm talking... Listen, if you're happy with your person and you know they sent your story, please watch another reading that resonates with you. But I feel like for these cards to come out... And I didn't even use uh, these cards yesterday. I used Tarot. And that story come out very strongly in Leah's reading. You're dealing with a false person this person sold you a dream this is what they do this is what this person does I, can i just say this for because some of you cancers you could have met somebody like this before you could have married somebody like this before dated dated someone like this before if you're a cancer this is your first time being with someone like this or experiencing something with somebody like this it's nothing personal this person's a professional at this. And yes, there are many people out there like that. If, if you're a cancer and you've had reasonable experiences in regards to love and stuff like that and relationships. And some of you guys, some of you guys, it could be a business partner. 
okay it could have been somebody who scammed you it could have been a friend or somebody that you, and some of you guys are family member okay if you take away any of the romantic things it could be that also so i want you to know especially if and even if you have experienced this quite a few times and it's knocked your confidence can i tell you this now it i promise you this it's nothing personal towards you this person has e deep rooted issues and and whoever they're trying to fix them you stop that because that's what they want from you they want your energy they want your time they want your resources they want you on their side will they find somebody else to, to that they'll fool yes yes and let me tell you this they get the best of it happens to the best of people so don't feel no kind of way Especially if you're very intelligent and you, you know, you normally make right try. Listen, this person's a professional, what they do. So don't, I understand it's hurtful and stuff like that. It's nothing personal. Okay. It's nothing personal. It feels personal because it's happening directly to you. Yes. But do they just target you? Uh, no. You guys just crossed paths and it was opportunity for them change in reverse this person's not going to change they could have told you that and i and the card i want to be more than friends is above that so they said hey i want things to change i want things to get better between us or just wait until my trial i know it's 18 months or whatever or wait until i come back to the country or wait until my divorce or wait 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 until the money comes in they want you waiting this is not a genuine person. For whoever cancer I'm picking up on that's dealing with this, this person's not genuine. I'll tell you that now for free. I'm not even going to do tarot because we're 17 minutes in. There's no need to. I felt, I really felt the need to use this. And the way the cards are coming out is very, is crystal clear to me. It's clear as day. All right. So clearly, so that's why I was thinking someone, there's a reason why I had to use these cards today cancer and i keep seeing the number 1717 17. let me see if let me see what it means because it's that and 1919 19. some of you guys have been seeing that as well let me see if it's in this chart I don't if, in this chart i don't think it's in the actual book i don't think it's in this book oh it's in the other one is over there i'll look it up later it keeps on popping up so it could be significant to you as well look don't believe their lies they will try everything in the book to win you over to gain your trust but you still will not be able to trust this person and i'm going to say this again if you know cancer you have a person there that you're with and you trust them and you love them and they're not causing you uh a, 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 st a stress and all that stuff is it, that's not for you okay this is clearly for a certain group of cancers that are experiencing this right now all right so don't get don't overthink now, okay? If this is not your situation, if you know this person ain't doing that, that's fine. But if you know this person to be this type of way, make you feel that way, then you know. And definitely watch the Leo re reading, whether you know your placement or not, okay? I know when my readings, certain readings are connected, okay? I want to leave it there. I hope this helps somebody, all right? Um, also cancer um, if you'd like a personal reading all the information's in the description box okay uh, the first of every month I'll be given either a tarot deck away or a mini reading if you um, so all you've got to do is comment subscribe like turn on the notification bell yeah if you do not want to wait to see if you've been chosen because it will be one person okay if you don't want to wait feel free the information is there in every description box that I post okay all right, so, yeah, I think that's all, guys. All right, I'm going to leave it there. You know what you know. What are you going to do with that, Cancer? All right, I'll leave, I'll leave it there, guys. You take care.